Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have been using the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max for the past week and I'm super impressed by its performance. It is currently connected to 400 watt solar panel outside powering this window unit. Uh, it's a very, very powerful AC portable unit from Drio. Uh, and I will be also be able to power the Toshiba microwave at the same time, it has 2,400 watts of maximum power output. Here's a quick test. So you have a cup of water in there. Start, 30 seconds. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see the display over here. And it says 2,476 watts and it did not you know, power off. There is no fuse to replace, so simply, um, restart it if there is a cutoff. I have not yet been able to put this thing to the max yet. And I'll, keep in mind, I'm also charging my MacBook Pro at the same time. Look at the consistent um, power output. It's insane. Okay, it's done. And now this water is warm. It's basically trans transformed the solar energy outside to the um, to the water, <laughs> I can also charge my Dewalt batteries. Just want to show you, there's nothing plugged into the wall power outlet, and I'm going to show you the solar panel setup right right here. This is a 220 watts bifacial solar panel from EcoFlow, two sided, double sided, and I also have 200 watts solar panels connected in series. Um, it, they are both MC4 connection, goes into the window to that XT60 port. So I have two sets of 200 watts panels, basically. And this is my honest uh, real life review, right? With these solar panels positioned ideally to the sunlight. Okay, back here you can see The input is 68 watts when there's overcast. Okay, it's not ideal, as I also have these uh, trees blocking the sunlight. Therefore, the maximum I was able to see is around 260 watts with these 400 watt solar panels. I have the whole setup mounted on this movable uh, casters from DeWalt. This is my T-Stack system, storage system. Uh, let me unplug a few wires. I have the, this is the microwave. I'm gonna unplug it. Um, my fridge, oh, that's the best part. This is a DC fridge. So, the, has a lot of contents inside. Let me remove these tools. I'll show you what's inside the fridge. I charge these battery banks using these uh, multi-port charger from DeWalt. Um, See what's going on here. This, uh, the temperature is set to 47 degrees. Have eggs, um, cakes, all sorts of random stuff um, as my storage, <laughs> okay? And usually when it goes to 50 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, the fridge will kick in. It is connected using this cord. It's a DC input to the uh, 12 volt socket back here, which is controlled by these physical switches. AC port is also connected by this switch. So with this setup, if I'm not running the AC or just charging laptops or USB devices, it's going to handle that fridge just fine for the past week. And with more, to, uh, with basically will fully recharge to like uh, 85 to 95%. Um, just powering that fridge if I have sufficient uh, sunlight. So this is a large enough system for any portable 12 volt fridge. If you have a compact fridge like that for camping, it is no problem at all if you have sunlight. So th this is uh, more than enough to power the fridge. But coming back here, if you're running like a thousand watts, uh, then it's only going to power this window unit for maybe two hours max. So that's the catch. You cannot 
do something like this without a massive solar array, it will be able to take in 1000 watts max uh, input. It has two XT60 solar inputs. So uh, 500 watts each. I have two panels as I showed you earlier. So uh, uh, theoretically 1000 watts going in. In ideal situation, it will almost break even with this AC unit at running at 1000 uh, to, you know, <laughs> about 1000 watts, right? So, um, yeah, so this is the kind of results you can expect from this sort of setup. And I have, I was able to power the DeWalt miter saw with the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max without any issue. It has a massive power output. And I forgot to mention the AC input to recharge the battery bank can also be uh, um, taken at 1,800 watts, which is the maximum allowed power output from the uh, wall outlet. Uh, these USB type C ports are rated at 100 watts each. Plenty of USB type A ports. Fast charging, these are QC3 compatible. Uh, it is also managed wirelessly via EcoFlow app on my phone. Uh, yes, and uh, you will be able to <laughs> work completely off the grid with a you know fast charger like so. I can plug in my battery banks, um, the DeWalt battery banks, battery packs. So, well, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Give me a second. Let's do this. I, have, I can plug in more. I also have this um, like a 100 watts USB type C port of uh, sort of uh, charger for DeWalt, which I also use um, if I only have one battery to recharge, then I can take advantage of the USB type C port over here. And now it is uh, also charging the battery banks, battery packs looking at 1,093 uh, watts, 47%. Now have an overcast. So really, if you, if you, for example, if you are living in California, you can totally rely on such a portable power station setup and, and um, go off the grid if you only have these small electronics and use the microwave once in a while. Um, as it pulls 1,200 watts, it will be able to run it for maybe two hours, maybe 1.5 1, 1 hours continuously with a microwave. Uh, as you can see, with all these things and 2,400 watts of maximum power output, it can handle any house appliances, including a fridge, um, whatever. This thing is, it is a beast. It is one of the most powerful thing I've ever tested so far. Oh, not to mention it has these two expansion ports so it can be connected to uh, external battery packs to uh, further expand its capacity and uh, it's it's very heavy yeah so you definitely want to keep it on casters if you want to move it around much so I can quickly recharge here and bring somewhere else in the house and use it in the kitchen for example if I want it during a power outage so yeah this is a two total valid setup for off the grid use uh, if you have solar panels. So do get at least, I would recommend at least 200 watt solar panels to pair with this thing. Uh, portable ones is acceptable, but glass type is better uh, thanks to its um, durability and longevity. And 3000 um, times of discharging and recharging cycles it's gonna be like uh, 10 years of lifespan. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, yeah, it's very, very well designed in terms of uh, hardware and software. Highly recommend it. Thank you very much for watching.